This morning, the federal government will not be entering a shutdown. We've been waiting on this news for weeks, and that's at least the case for now. Last night, President Joe Biden signed a bipartisan short-term spending bill to keep the government running. The deal includes $16 billion in disaster relief requested by the White House, but no new aid for Ukraine. After the overwhelmingly bipartisan vote in the House Saturday, the bill went to the Senate, where some expressed concern over the lack of funding for the war against Russia. We will not stop fighting for more economic and security assistance for Ukraine. Majorities in both parties support Ukraine aid, and doing more is vital for America's security and for democracy around the world. In a written statement last night, President Biden said he expects Speaker Kevin McCarthy to, quote, keep his commitment to the people of Ukraine and secure passage of the support needed to help Ukraine at this critical moment. The current spending bill will keep the government running for 45 days. Congress now has until November 15th at midnight to pass a full budget. Bringing things back here to Louisville, U of L is remembering a young life taken too soon. Jake Luxenberger was killed two weeks ago in a car crash on I-71 in Oldham County. Since then, our community has stepped up time and time again to honor Jake. Alex Dieterer and photojournalist Addie Hill tell us how Saturday's U of L fall baseball scrimmage was about much more than a game. Guys, why, why, are, we, why are we here today? For today, Jake. It was one of the first opportunities for fans to see the 2024 Cardinals in action and a chance for the Linden Bananas youth baseball team to honor their friend and teammate Jake Luxemburger. The 10-year-old center fielder was killed in a car crash in Crestwood two weeks ago. Friends and family say he was known to stand out in a crowd with his sweet and charismatic personality and his love for Cardinals baseball. Who's Jake's favorite team? Oh, oh, oh. L's up on the way. L's up. The Cardinals hosted Xavier today. The Bananas joined the Cardinals on the field for the first pitch and then sat front row for today's scrimmage. Um, it's something I know Jake would have absolutely loved because he loved his cards and he loved the spotlight. So um, the kids are excited to step on a, a big field like this with a very successful baseball program and just do it for Jake and just have fun together. That's what we've been trying to do the past couple weeks is just get them back to a little normal and have fun together. Coach Jonathan Moore said Jake prioritized lifting up the people around him. And it's no secret that Jake left an everlasting impression on his team and the community. How do we live every every day? What is our what's our slogan? Jake strong. Jake strong. Jake strong. Alex Dieterer, WHAS 11 on your side. Jake Strong, something to remember. If you'd like to donate to the Luxemburger family GoFundMe, we have a link on our website, whas11.com. Community members in Shawnee Park are celebrating people recovering from substance abuse. At a neighborhood rally Saturday, organizers gathered free resources to support those with a history of struggling with substance abuse. They say such days are an opportunity to advocate for better resources in the community. We find places, we find folks who are in this space is advocating uh, for stuff like uh, culturally competent uh, uh, programming, uh, advocating for treatment and, and versus incarceration. So now we're, I think we're coming of age as a result of doing this sort of work for a number of, for a number of years. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, help is available. We have a list of resources available for you on our website to check out. Also on Saturday, Baptist Health invited friends, neighbors, and patients to a cancer block party. The second annual event had cancer screenings, games, food, and music. Organizers told us the goal of the party was to make life-saving cancer prevention education accessible to everybody. I think reminding people that cancer screening is still important, especially as in some ways we're coming out of the COVID era, just to make sure they're aware of the opportunities uh, to help decrease that risk of finding advanced cancer where the options are more limited for treatment. In addition to cancer screenings, they also provided support to those living with or impacted by cancer.